Hey everybody, it's Joanne from Archie Tarot. Thanks for checking out this message. Going to be doing a reading for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Going to tap into the energies that are surrounding you at this time. See what message your guides and angels have for you. So this is not time stamp. So whenever you find it, it is the right time for you. If it does not resonate, check out other placements. If you are a cross watcher here for Scorpio, remember flip switch the energies and rolls, okay? What is the energy surrounding Scorpio at this time? And what does Scorpio need to know? So we've got the owl in the reverse and we've got the luck energy at the bottom of the deck. So the numbers 23 or 19 may be significant. So I do feel that whatever energies are surrounding you it's turning in your favor so the wheel is turning with that luck energy but we've got the owl in the reverse so it says there are spirited messages or spiritual messages and great wisdom to be found during this period of transition so possibly you've been going through something there's a cycle that you've been in where you felt alone where you felt like a lack of guidance possibly you've blocked your intuition or you're ignoring your intuition at this time but things are changing right? Your luck is changing is what I'm getting here. So there has been some, there has been a cycle that you've been in where you have felt alone, where you have felt somewhat abandoned, but you're not, your, your people, your, your ancestors, your spirit guides, your angels, your team, they're always with you, but you're not reaching out. Possibly you're not, right? So there's an energy of, um, you, if you need help, if you, want guidance ask for it and i do feel that your luck is changing so there's validation for a new cycle upon the horizon with that luck energy it says you are right to be strong and optimistic about the opportunities that are ahead okay so that you may have felt stagnant for a while you may have felt alone but you're never alone is the message that i'm getting and i do feel things are about to change for the greater good there's a new vibration on the horizon for you, Scorpio. So let's dig a little bit deeper. What is the energy surrounding Scorpio? Ah, so you were heartbroken in regards to someone that you were committed to. So there was a period, there's something that you're coming out of. There's a connection or a relationship that you're coming out of, and it is for your greatest good that doesn't take away from the fact that you've been through something that's been very painful. And that's very apparent with this backstabbing, heartbroken soulmate in the reverse, right? For a period of time, you felt like you've been in this cycle of ultimate betrayal and pain. You felt alone. Definitely. How could you not feel alone in this energy? So it's showing this validating that you've been through a lot of pain in regards to a relationship of love, Someone that you had chosen, someone that you thought you were going to be with forever, right? Someone that was going to give you 10 of cups. There's a soulmate connection, but in the reverse. So a partnership, a contract, a life partner, there's separation, right? There was a breakdown within this union. It says deeply hurt and sad, feeling lost, grieving, despair, and breakup, heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, lies, shocking attack. So the person that you were connected with wasn't who you thought they were. But now you see the situation clearly and it is validated that it's been difficult and there has been deception and a lot of pain. But I do feel it has been for the greatest good and the things are going to start to change for you, Scorpio. You are right to be strong and optimistic about the opportunities that are ahead. The wheel is turning in your favor. So the universe, your angels and your guides saw things that you did not in regards to this partnership, in regards to this person that you were connected to, right? And I know it's caused you a lot of pain, but it is for the greatest good and you must trust that, right? This is bigger picture things. This is making room for what's meant for you. So there's something better, someone more deserving of your time and energy, somebody that would be loyal, someone that would not cause such pain is what I feel you were dealing with someone that was not who they seemed to be. All right, let's dive deeper. So I call upon Scorpio's spirit guides and angels to protect their energy. Show me what it is that they need to know in regards to this message for their highest and greatest good. Call upon my team, my spirit guides, my angels also to protect my energy as I channel this message. What does Scorpio need to know? In regards to this energies 
for their highest and greatest good. So if you're cross watching here, flip switch the energies and rolls, right? Scorpio did this to you. Or if this is someone that did this to a Scorpio, let me know in the comments if this resonates. Three of Pentacles. So this is definitely a soul contract. Someone that you had collaborated with. Someone that you were in a commitment with. Could be someone you were married to. Not just a serious commitment. A life partner. A marriage. Right? Is what I'm getting. There's some type of a choice that was made between two. And this person that you were married to. Or in a very serious commitment with. Scorpio chose somebody else. And that broke your heart. There was deception here. Cheating. Lying. Cheating. Stealing. Could be dealing with the Capricorn with that Three of Pentacles. Could also be dealing with the Gemini. I don't want to get too ahead of myself here. But ultimately, you see the situation for what it is now. You see the situation very clear. Bottom of the deck energy, we've got Six of Swords. That's Aquarius energy, Scorpio. So you are moving towards calmer water, right? Your luck is changing because you're leaving behind someone that was toxic. You're leaving behind someone that is lacking loyalty, someone that's a backstabber, someone that's a cheater. You're letting go of someone that was not honest, someone that blocked your intuition, someone that was holding you back from the path of expansion that you're meant for, holding you back from the relationship where you're meant to be honored and loved is what I feel. So Six of Swords is definitely validating the fact that you are moving towards something better, higher vibration, validating that luck energy right? You were very much um, betrayed in regards to this relationship. So we have, we have for the anchor, we have three of pentacles. So that's about a contract. Three of pentacles is Capricorn energy. You were in a contract with someone and now you're looking to dissolve that contract. You're cutting, cutting cords with this individual because it is in your best interest to release them. There was one too many in, in this relationship with the three of pentacles can be validating that there was definitely cheating going on. There was third party, right? So you learned about this deception and it caused a lot of heartbreak and pain. And now you're in separation from this person. You've experienced the energy of the loss, the energy of the deception and the lies, right? So the challenge was this information that you received, the Knight of Swords, this came out of nowhere. I don't think you were expecting this um, outcome from this connection. I don't think this was something that you had planned or you had foreseen coming with that Knight of Swords because the Knight of Swords is a very quick energy. It comes right out of nowhere. So it's almost like you, you know, um, you totally got duped is what I'm getting. This is Aquarius energy. So we've got a lot of Aquarius. We've got Capricorn energy, but it's validating this happened really quickly. It took came out of nowhere. This backstabbing, heartbreaking pain. This realization that you were in a soulmate connection, commitment with someone that was not loyal is what I'm getting, right? So the recent past, we've got the King of Swords. So that's, that is illuminance, communication. Possibly you received some type of communication that validated that this person was not honoring their connection with you. This is someone that was not honoring their commitment. There was a lack of responsibility, a lack of investment. So there was some type of communication that came in that showed you the truth, right? Because the King of Swords is about truth, is seeing something clearly. It's the thread that's been weaved throughout this cycle. It's seeing the situation clearly. So the King of Swords, that's Libra energy and it's about justice. So it has been difficult. Your heart is broken, Scorpio. This is, There's been a loss, and I do feel you're in the energy and have been of grieving and despair because of this breakup. But it is going to put you in this place of validation because there's justice here with that King of Swords. So as painful as it was, you do see the situation clearly. Now the person that you're dealing with is the lovers in the reverse. So they see that you've detached from them and they've moved towards whomever this third party is with the lovers in the reverse. That's Gemini energy. This person chose outside of the connection with you, right? And it, and that's validated with the backstabbing pain. We got five of swords energy, you know, five of cups, and then the two of cups in the reverse, right? And the jet and the lovers, this is very much this. This is someone you were in a very serious commitment with, possibly someone you were in a soul contract or marriage with. And this person chose somebody else, right? Disrespected the relationship, disrespected you, stabbed you in the back, cheated on you, caused a lot of pain, possibly affected your finances and stability, right? This person now knows that they've lost 
their connection to you, you've, you've pulled your energy back with the lovers in the reverse. And then the outcome, Scorpio is seeing the situation clearly. We have the king and the queen of swords here. And I feel that's in your energy. So you will be helped if you are breaking contract with this person. There is justice involved. And I do feel you will have a good outcome, right? So you do see the situation. There's a lot of clarity now. The energy surrounding you, we've got Knight of Swords, King of Swords, Queen of Swords. So there's a big wake-up call here in regards to this relationship that you've been in with someone that was deceptive, someone that was cheating, someone that caused you a whole lot of pain is what I'm getting here. But your luck is changing, right? You are moving towards a calmer vibration, towards something that is more of alignment with you. Please clarify the Three of Pentacles for the anchor energy of this reading for Scorpio. Temperance in the reverse. You could have been dealing with a Sagittarius, but there was definitely some imbalance in this relationship. Somebody was taking. Somebody was duping you. Somebody was taking from you and giving to somebody else, right? Definite imbalance, and now that's validation because you're moving in a new energy. You receive some type of communication that put all the cards on the table with the Knight of Swords to the King of Swords. So you have the full picture now, is what I'm getting. Bottom of the deck, judgment. So this relationship, this connection, this cycle you're in is covered in karma. <laughs> so your karma is good, right? You're moving towards higher vibration, healing a broken heart after being betrayed. So the outcome will be of high vibration. You are moving towards karmic energy consequences to the choices that have been made so so the challenge is the knight of swords and we've got the ace of swords on the knight of swords so that is validating whatever communication that you received is 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 valid right so there's the truth that a sword of truth the ace of swords is the sword of truth and when we see it with the knight of swords the king of swords and the queen of swords is you realizing how duped you were. You were dealing with someone that was definitely playing a lot of games, playing with your mind, playing with your heart, right? With that Ace of Swords, that's Libra, Aquarius, Gemini energy. So there was definitely communication that is now being validated, that has opened your horizons, that opened your mind to the reality of the situation. You were dealing with a backstabber that had no problem with um, taking from you and giving to someone else with the magician in the reverse, you're dealing with someone that's very egotistical and very selfish is what I'm getting, Scorpio. Clarify that King of Swords energy for the recent past. Why is the King of Swords in the recent past for Scorpio? Why is the King of Swords the Hermit Virgo energy? Beautiful. So the tower occurred and now this is going to put you at the vantage, Scorpio, to see things very clearly. The hermit is a closing of a painful cycle. Not only is it the commencement or the or the finality of a painful cycle, it's enlightenment. When especially with the King of Swords. So you do see the bigger picture. You see things very clearly after being in an illusion, after being neglected, after being left behind. So you do see a bigger picture now and it might not be easy and there might be boundaries that you're having to set and there's pain that you're having to heal from. But you will be victorious in this energy. There is a sword of victory. And then you've got the wheel turning in your favor of luck. So this is for your greatest good because you were dealing with someone that was not invested even though they may have told you that they were. This is someone that was giving to somebody else definitely with the lovers in the reverse and the three of pentacles. So this person views... Scorpio with the lovers in the reverse. They chose somebody else. Give me more energy on that lovers card for Scorpio's greatest good. Queen of Pentacles. So now you have an opportunity to rebuild from this new from this new place, but this new place isn't from the beginning. This is coming from a vantage of enlightenment and also being guided towards something bigger and better, something that's more in alignment for you. You are moving towards something that's very prosperous with that Queen of Pentacles, Scorpio, is what I feel. Page of Wands in the reverse. This person is going to watch you too. This is someone that is going to experience a lot of jealousy in the near future in regards to how things are going to turn out in your favor with the Queen of Pentacles, the Hermit, and the, and the Luck. With, also with the Sword of Victory. So you dodged yourself a real bullet. Even though this is something that has caused you pain, there was love here. 
you were dealing with someone that was not invested. You were dealing with someone that was that lacked loyalty, someone that was a liar. And now you see the situation clearly. Please give me more energy on that Queen of Pentacles for Scorpio. Give me more energy on that Queen of Pentacles. So, or sorry, Queen of Swords, Queen of Swords. That is Aquarius energy. The Nine of Cups in the reverse. You're dealing with someone that was very codependent. And now you see them very clearly and you're pulling your energy back. You're in acceptance that this is not your path and you're very much open to moving in the direction that you're meant to, right? So you're open to being present in the moment. You're trusting your guides and your angels to take you out of this painful cycle towards what's meant for you. The outcome here, we've got the Queen of Swords and the Nine of Cups. You are releasing someone that was very codependent and you see it for what it is now. This is someone that was not willing to do the work. This is someone that took the easy path out. It was easier for them to go off and choose someone else than to do the work in the relationship with you. This is someone that will continue to be this way. There's no expansion or growth within this energy. You may be dealing with a Pisces with that Nine of Cups energy. Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, that represents Virgo. So we've got a lot of everything here, right? From swords to earth to water. So take it as it resonates, but I do feel that your luck is changing here. So I'm going to close out this reading, reading from what this card is telling you. Let me know in the comments if this is your story. Um, validate this message. Your luck is changing, Cancer. It says you are right to be strong and optimistic about the opportunities that are ahead. Your faith is changing because of decisions that you have made. You have set a new course and will be luckier than you've ever been for some time. But you must be decisive. An opportunity to completely reverse your fortunes in personal relationships and finances is likely. There is no place for self-doubt or pessimism. Stability and strength surround the changes now taking place as you charge as you are in charge of your circumstances, the key is to have faith and to be optimistic. Luck is all around. Singles could meet someone easier than in the past. Personal relationships will run a little smoother than recently and troublesome situations could be settled once and for all. Be sure to write out some positive affirmations to help the luck along. Thank you for watching. If you've not done so, please subscribe. If you're interested in a personal, hit me up through the email provided. Thank you, Scorpio. Take care. Bye.